Welcome to the Ethereal Clash of Souls stress test tutorial series. We have an upcoming stress test on Saturday, December 18th. If you have not signed up for our newsletter on our website, make sure you do that as that's how you'll gain access to the stress test. The link to our website will be linked down below in the description. This tutorial series will go over four different subjects in Ethereal. It'll go over the different class abilities that we have in the game as of this stress test. It'll go over all of the objectives in the game, whether that be neutral or per team. We'll be going over how to get into your first game and what you need to do to get there. And then today, we're going to be going over the spells and familiars of Ethereal. Since our last stress test, we've actually completely redesigned our entire myth select screen. So as you can see, we've got our seven playable myths on the top center. We've got your primary spells on the left side, your familiars on the right side, and then a lane selection on the bottom. Now, all of these will display to your team as you select them, so you can help each other coordinate and pick the best team possible going into your game. Today, we're going to talk about these spells and familiars, though. Starting with our Assault Familiar. All the familiars have a passive and active effect. The passive for the Assault Familiar is that you will deal 5 extra damage on all of your attacks. So anything that does damage will deal an extra 5 damage to all targets. This is a great tool if you're looking to farm a little bit easier in lane or just be able to poke enemy myths that much more while you're fighting them. The active for the Assault Familiar is your next damaging attack or ability within 10 seconds deals an additional 6% of the target's max health. You heal for 80% of the bonus damage dealt. This ability does have a 90 second cooldown. So on your hotbar, you will press C to activate this ability and you will have 10 seconds to hit an enemy and deal that extra damage. Now, because this also applies on abilities, you can maximize this by using some AOE abilities and getting the multiple hits of damage off on that. It's all about how you time the ability. Our Demolition Familiar, its passive is while under any turret or spire, gain 10 increased armor and magic resist. If the turret or spire is destroyed, the effects are lost immediately. So this is a great tool if you're trying to survive under tower or you want to survive a little bit more when you're diving an enemy tower. But if that tower goes down, you lose those extra resistances. The active for the Demolition Familiar is that you give allied minions near you 10 armor and magic resist for 10 seconds with a cooldown of 120 seconds. This is a great tool for denying farm to the enemy laners and just kind of throwing off that groove that they get into sometimes of farming the minions on your side. The Guardian Familiar has a passive that lets you regenerate your mana by an increased 5 mana per 5 seconds. So an extra 1 mana per second. This is great if you are spamming your abilities a lot. This will give you that little bit of mana regen you need to stay in lane a little bit longer without being out of mana. The active on the Guardian Familiar is that you reduce your cooldowns by 1 second for all of your basic abilities. And this has a 90 second cooldown. So this is your Q, E, and R abilities will all get that reduction of cooldown and then 90 seconds later you'll be able to do it again. This familiar is great for people that use their abilities often and have low cooldown abilities as a whole which means that they can get these abilities back up and do as much damage as possible. The reinforced familiar has a passive that damaging an enemy myth with a basic attack or ability will heal you for 25 plus 5 percent of your missing health. That passive has a cooldown of 90 seconds. A great poking tool for offlaners that they can use to sustain a little bit in lane, or if you want to take this in the duo lane, you can definitely do so as well. In conjunction with this active ability, it's definitely useful. The active is that you can shield yourself for 50 plus 15% of your maximum health. This shield lasts 3 seconds or until it's broken, whichever comes first, and has a cooldown of 120 seconds. This shield is a great kind of get out of jail free card that you can use sometimes where you're about to die, you'll be able to press the button, get that percent health shield, and then survive just a little bit longer to get back to safety. After our familiars, we have our primary spells. There are six primary spells to choose from, the first of which being our assault primary spell. The assault primary spell's active is increase your damage and attack speed by 5% for three seconds, and this has a 90 second cooldown. This is a way that you can increase your damage very quickly and kind of get that surprise extra damage against an enemy, against a minion, something to help secure a little bit extra damage while you're doing so. The next primary spell is our Demolition primary spell. 
Its active is that you reduce the armor by 15% on structures and jungle camps for 3 seconds, with a cooldown of 60 seconds. This is especially useful if you're pushing down towers or you're trying to take those larger neutral objectives, like the wyverns or atropos, because reducing that armor, it's a reduction on the actual entity itself, be it a tower or jungle camp, so everyone that's doing damage will deal that increased damage by 15%. Our third primary spell is our Guardian primary spell. This has an active that you can shield yourself or an ally for 15% of your max health for 3 seconds. This has a cooldown of 75 seconds. Now this is a great spell for a tank or support to take because it's based on your own max health. So if you have a lot of max health but you cast this on a Dante for instance, you'll be able to shield him quite a bit more than he would be able to shield himself if he was using this. So a great tool to keep your allies alive if you have a lot of max health. Our fourth primary spell is going to be our reinforced primary spell. This has an active that you increase your armor and magic resist by 10% for 3 seconds and has a cooldown of 75 seconds total. This means that you're going to be able to make yourself tankier heading into a team fight, heading into a fight, heading under a tower, something to give you just a little bit more resistance and a little more last a little bit longer in that fight against your enemies. Our fifth primary spell is going to be our Mark primary spell. Now this is something that is very important for junglers to take. When you take this, it actually fills an item slot with the Mark, and it's a tier zero version of our Mark. This is that you can mark a neutral monster for death, dealing 100 mythical damage or true damage, and it has a cooldown of 50 seconds. The important thing is in order to build any jungle items, you have to take the mark as a primary spell. You can see on here it says that the mark is upgradable. It starts as a tier 0, dealing that base 100 mythical damage, and then when you start the game, you'll be able to buy the tier 1 right off the bat, which will then, then give you scaling mythical damage and heal against jungle camps. This is a very important upgrade for junglers to take, so if you're planning on jungling, make sure you pick up the mark. Our final primary spell is our Mask. On cast, gain back 5% of your maximum mana, but when you take the mask, you'll be reducing your gold from minions by 50%, and this has a cooldown of 180 seconds. This is our support primary spell. This is again an upgradable spell, so you start with a tier 0 version in your inventory, and the more you upgrade it, the more gold per second you earn to offset the reduction from minions but also it gives you a stronger version of this ability or a, a much stronger AoE ability when you get to the tier 3. So if you're planning on playing support, make sure you pick up this mark item. We'd love to hear your thoughts about the primary spells and familiars that we showed off today. Hopefully you have a plan in your head of what myths you're going to take with which primary spell and familiar, as they're a very important part of Ethereal Clash of Souls. We can't wait to get you guys in game on Saturday. Once again, if you have not signed up for our newsletter, that is how you have a chance to gain access. So make sure you go into the description, head to our website, and sign up for that newsletter. And we can't wait to see you guys on Saturday.